Each year since 2001, January 27th has been set aside as Holocaust Memorial Day, an opportunity for people around the world to remember not just the victims of the Nazi Holocaust in Europe, but also to think on subsequent genocides in Cambodia, Rwanda and Bosnia. January 27th was chosen as it was on that day in 1945 that the Nazis' largest extermination camp, Auschwitz-Birkenau, was liberated. Each year, South Lanarkshire Council hosts a Holocaust Memorial Day event, with this year's taking place at Lark Hall Academy. But in the weeks and months leading up to it, pupils in schools right across South Lanarkshire are involved in project work and preparing special assemblies to be held on that day. Let's take a look at a small sample of what's been going on. I'm here with my classmates at Lock Primary. Um, I'm here with my classmates in Primary 7 at St Anthony's Primary. Yeah, we were doing um, posters about the um, Holocaust and we were doing like a news report. We are doing a, an acrostic poem there uh, yeah, that's with the word Holocaust. Poem Holocaust. Help the future generations colour our religion, disability and race. Learn to live in peace together. Opposites, it doesn't matter as long as we can be friends for life and always understand each other. So stop the hatred now and make a better future. I've learned about the Holocaust that on the gates of Auschwitz it says work makes one free, but they never did. I learned it in the in the Auschwitz there was big like gas chambers that they killed Jews in and then just put their bodies on fire so no one could find out how, how they got killed. So pictures and it was quite sad of like clothes and shoes. Every person in the class have have to made a folder about and they've picked a subject like maybe the Blitz or the actual Holocaust, Holocaust or Britain's part in World War Two or Americans part or something and um, then we had to make gas masks and the layout for the gas mask and um, stuff like that. Well we've been studying like um, the Blitz and Anne Frank and how she uh, escaped the Nazis in the concentration camps. We're doing this show, like a, a memorial assembly. We're doing a lot of things about concentration camps and how you might feel. And we're doing a scene about Anne Frank and her family getting a letter from Margot to get sent away. Otto, read this. What is it? Here, Frank. Margot Frank is to report to the district office 157 on the 6th of July 1942 at 10 a.m. Terrorised. Terrorised. Horrified. I was not a communist. They came for the union leaders and I did not speak up because I was not a union leader. They came for the socialists and I did not speak up because I was not a socialist. They came for the Jews and I did not speak up because I was not a Jew. They came for me and there was no one left to speak up for me.